Hey guys, I wanted to go ahead and kick off one of my first actual talks. Being from Florida and from that Miami-Dade area, and since I do have my rescue, I tend to take a lot of animals from our animal controls. And um, animal controls pretty much are situated in every county. But what I wanted to talk about was Miami-Dade in particular. So the Miami-Dade Animal Control is basically a government-run facility. And what that means is unlike a nonprofit rescue, which would be like a private shelter, an animal control is going to be something where the government funds everything. So, you know, definitely has a different protocol to how things are done. Animal control also has a clinic and their clinic is dedicated to doing low cost vaccines, microchipping, spay neuter. They do a lot of medical procedures as well at low cost for the public. So let's say um, you have a pet and you don't want it anymore or you can't keep it anymore because you're moving or you know whatever your bullshit excuse is why you're giving up your pet you would take it to animal control and because it's government run cannot turn any animal away it's going to take them all in so with those type of numbers of intakes and it being one animal control for all of miami day it's going to have to euthanize you know there's no place to put all these animals and people aren't adopting the animals yes they do get put to sleep so there are plenty of healthy, young, beautiful animals that have good temperaments and just, you know, had bad owners. You know, like if you're moving, move where you can have your animal. You know, like do you go to a place you can't have your kids? I'm just so sick and tired of hearing people that are dumping animals because of convenience. You know, like we make commitments to these animals and that's one of the main reasons that so many animals end up dying in shelters. But not only am I seeing puppies that get dumped after a year of being with an owner, you know why? Because like you got a puppy for your kids and they don't take care of it. Well, of course you're not gonna take care of it, they're kids. You know, it's your responsibility. And you know how many animals in animal control come from breeders or come from pet stores, that's what pisses me off the most. Animals that should have never been born to begin with, that have only been born because of money-making situations, are now getting bought by ignorant, uneducated people who don't know they should be adopting to begin with, to then end up in a shelter and get killed anyway just because you can't keep a promise you made or a commitment you made to that animal. If you found a dog and you found a stray in the street or you found a cat, that's probably the best place to take it because they're gonna go ahead and take its picture and put it on the website. If your pet isn't microchipped or it is microchipped but it's not registered, nobody's gonna call you. Avid and Home Again, those are the microchip companies. And if you haven't done that, call them like, hey, is my pet registered? If not, I think it's like $10 to do it. Do it, it's a lifesaver, literally. And in five days, if nobody claims that animal, it's either gonna get euthanized or it's gonna get put up for adoption. And then someone else can come get it. And then you're, you know, you're just shit out of luck because your animal's gone. And of course, Miami-Dade, and you know, they do have a policy with pit bulls. They, they're illegal there. So, you know, for reasons, obviously, for people reasons, again, you know, not the dog's fault, but if you do have a pit bull there, they go in a separate area. I get to go in the area where they have the bully breeds because I have made a, a contract basically with animal control that that animal gets taken out of the county. You know, they will allow you to take them, but they have to be adopted out of the county. So if you're somebody who loves that breed and you're from another area, you know, ask them and they'll take you to a separate spot in the shelter that has all the bullies it's really just a sad sad scene but hopefully you're going there to adopt and if you are you're gonna like get great deals these animals come fully vaccinated microchip they come spay neuter they're up to date on their on everything really and they come with vouchers to make sure that they're good for like the following two weeks if there's anything wrong you can go to the vet and get it taken care of it's all a part of the adoption fee and it's really all a part of getting these animals rehomed and avoiding as much unnecessary euthanasias as possible. Because I've seen so many people that work for animal control that really do want to do good for the animals. They have a heart. They really want to see these animals get rehomed. Nobody wants to kill your dog or cat. Unfortunately, the reality of it is, is that there's no space. Going to animal control really, really is saving a life. You have no idea the animals that you will find in there. There's all types of dogs, every breed. You're gonna get purebred puppies in there. So it's just a matter of being in there at the right place at the right time. And check their website because animals are going in every day and just because one might not be there that you want today doesn't mean it's not coming in two hours later. So they really are good with the website. They update everything all the time. That's why I'm a total advocate for adoption, 
please adopt, don't shop animals. It really does need to be instilled in people and people need the education. So hopefully you're just going to animal control to do vaccines and to spay and neuter your pet because that's a super, super good thing to do. You know, the more animals that are spay and neutered, the less animals that end up in the shelter. It's a numbers game. It's really simple, guys. Don't create more of a problem. Fix the problem we already have. And if we continue to do it the right way, hopefully we will see nothing but empty runs in the next generation of animal controls. So I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions about what I was talking about, just hit me up on the YouTube channel. And um, talk to you soon.